the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nitek. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. All right, round one is underway. Here is the outstanding striker, the conditioned Du Ho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by knockout. They have come in round one. We'll see how it goes for Du Ho Choi here tonight. Oh, nice jab up top by Choi. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Big power shot there. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Effective with the jab. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. That left punch pretty good enough. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a brawl on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seat. These guys are getting after it. That's good defense to block that punch. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Frantic pace early on to this one. Leg kick checked by Short. Nice jab. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Beautiful leg kick lands. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Passes the half. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. He's got to try to finish here. And now a left. Oh, he's opening up on him now. Big right hand. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Just misses with the jab there. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. And that one certainly found the target. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeeding. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, sidekick, well done. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing and you appreciate the street science, his jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. And it all starts behind that beautiful jab. 
just out of range with that left hook. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. All right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. 15 seconds. Straight right, he misses. just before you heard the horn, so he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the foot. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round two. Overhand lands flush. Oh, man. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Oh, back and forth. Oh, look at that leg kick. What a kick. That one landed. Nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume team. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Hands up. Finds a home for the left hand there. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Lindsay, quick jab. Three minutes to go. Big shot to the head. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Right hand, Lance. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Nice right hand by the champ. Yep. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, what a punch. Under two minutes now to go. That's a beautiful body kick.
Choi gets caught by that straight hand. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Nice execution on the tee. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. But you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Oh, nice. 30 seconds to go in the round. Effective use of the jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Gets to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Big knee land for the body. Time. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh, left hook. Nice defense to block that punch. The Korean Superboy gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Oh, this is big, that's big. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Nice jab by Choi. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, look at that right hand there. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Beautiful defensive skills on display. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Three minutes to go. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. And now some separation. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Now he's throwing that jab to the body. 
Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, block that punch. But he's not up by much. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, really good with the kick. Oh. oh, he missed with that right hand. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Stick with the overhand. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Nice crack there. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. 45 seconds remain in the round. That left hook landed on the button. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. 15 seconds remain in the round. Quick jab. down like that might be the difference. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage, another to employ. Him with the left. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Oh man, that cut is just bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised to see a stoppage here. So. The, amount blood, the amount of blood that is leaking from this guy. It's amazing that he's still standing. He has been beat up thoroughly. Tonight is not going to be his night. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, lands a nice straight. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. 
Just over three minutes to go. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Just misses with the straight right. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big ground and pound. Shaw gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Punch coming, it's blocked. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Leg kick is true. All right, so when is too much, too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. Under two minutes to go. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Man, he is so bad. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. His misses are entertaining. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Beautiful jab there by the champ. That's a nice combination and not just a two-piece either. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there. Oh! He's you very close out. to the finish here. Back to the feet. Left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Just missed with that right hand. 30 seconds to go in this one. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Sure, gets caught with that punch. 15 seconds to go. That's the biggest shot to fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. I mean, how about those five minutes, DC? One of the best rounds of the year. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. Outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. That's how you block a strike. Back and forth we go. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Lands with the lead right. Good kick to the body. Back to 
his feet. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Fast jab lands there. Nice combination on the feet and now works it to a takedown. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Three minutes now to go in this one. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Try to establish that jab. Just missed with the left there. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strokes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Nice straight right lands. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight. And his opponent is hurting for certain. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time a shot lands up top, you could see the damage that it's inflicting. The, the, the work that he has done has been masterful. And now he has his opponent very limited because he can't take many shots to the head anymore. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. One minute to decide this one. Beautiful transition. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, that's gotta be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the left. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Well, what a title fight it was. What a showcase it was for this division. But at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you got to think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed USC heavyweight.